Hey guys, welcome back. You remember this drone, right? It's the TKKJ Vitality uh, I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. It's a very stable drone, pretty powerful motors and long blades. The only problem, it has a bad camera. And this is the Eken H9 action camera. It is cheap, good quality video recording, including 4K. The only problem, it cannot fly. I guess you already know what's coming next. Let's rewind a little. A couple weeks ago, I reviewed the TKKJ Vitality drone. After publishing that video, I received a comment from one of you guys that I should try attaching an action camera to the drone to see if I can get some recent aerial footage from it. Surprisingly, I was thinking of the exact same thing. So I thought if that's what you guys want, let's do it. So the first thing I did was I grabbed the action camera and I tried to put it on the drone. But there was no way it was going on there with the waterproof casing. I was hoping if it fell from a height, the waterproof case might save it, but I had to compromise on it for the sake of experiment. Plus the case was a lot of unnecessary weight. Next try, I decided to stick the camera to the bottom of the drone with some double tape. But doing that was obstructing the record button. Luckily the camera has an upside down recording option where it records the video upside down. So when you play it, it is upright. And even if you do record upside down videos, you can always rotate it using a software. But since we have the option, why not? All right, flight test number one. Okay, we do have lift off, but the drone seems to be really taking toll here. It is not going high enough, even with full throttle. For most of the part, it seems as if it is not even going above 1 meter or so. I think I need to lose some weight here. And so does the drone. So I'll just go ahead and remove the propeller guards. And I hope it helps. Alright, flight test number 2. And we have liftoff. Great. It seems to be flying now and I can take it higher if I want. There is still one problem. Even though it can lift the 42 grams camera, it is unable to hover on its own. I have to constantly push the throttle to keep it airborne. The moment I let it go, it starts to fall under the weight of the camera. The trick is to play with the throttle very carefully so it stays at one level for enough time to get some decent videos. Now it is ready for a field test. So here I am at a public park beyond which we have the beautiful skyline of the city the weather is perfect there is no wind so uh, let's not waste any more time and start shooting as you see i've already switched on the camera and i'm gonna press record all right it's recording and now we fly yes. So the liftoff is fine and it is even soaring up to a good height but there is still a problem. Now in this open space I am noticing that the drone is drifting towards the left probably because one side of the camera is heavier than the other. But there is some good news. With the battery full to the brim it is actually able to hover for a minute or two without me having to push the throttle continuously. Here is a video straight from the drone's camera. Later on, I had another idea. Sticking the camera facing front was fine, but it was still causing the drone to drift one way. So I thought, why don't I stick it sideways? This way, it should be much more stable. It worked fine. It was a little confusing making sure the camera was facing the right side. I mean, the side which I wanted to record, but otherwise it was fine. Removing the propeller guards definitely made the whole thing lighter and easier to fly, but it had a downside. I crashed it like a dozen times into the trees, walls and grass below and without the guards the blade, the blades took quite a beating. But the result is stunning. It was a little tricky flying the thing but luckily the drone had amazing stability and I am really happy with the videos. If I can get hold of a lighter camera that would be great. However, for a $100 setup 
this is pretty amazing. You can have a look at the videos and decide for yourself. One thing I cannot help but admire is how sturdy this drone is. I crashed it at least like a dozen times and I was pretty sure that it was permanently damaged. But after removing the camera, this is how it is flying. The blades are all chipped and scratched but it flies perfectly nevertheless. The Chinese never fail to surprise. I'll leave links for the camera and the drone in the description box below in case you wanna check it out. Now I'm thinking of coming up with more ways to do aerial photography. In fact, something that does not even require a drone. Let me know in the comments below if that would be something you guys would be interested in. I'll start working on it right away. By the way, the Amazfit smartwatch giveaway is still going on. So go over to my channel and watch my previous video to take part in that. All right, that's it for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, life hacks, and facts. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Instructables. All the links are in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.